Hello everyone, Randy here, and today I am going to be showing you how to protect your images in the Wix Website Builder. As you know, there's an ongoing controversy as to if people should actually watermark their images or not. Some people say yes, some people say no. Um, a nice watermark doesn't bother me much, but if you're one of those people who don't um, like to watermark your images, but of course you want to show them in a portfolio online, I think it's important to make sure you protect them. So um, I just came over to Wix from a gallery type site that will allow, um, that didn't allow downloading. However, um, in working with Wix, I noticed my images could be downloaded. So I went, took a roundabout way of learning to um, protect them if I decided to hand build the gallery. Uh, what I mean by that is if you go over to their galleries, any, if you choose any one of the galleries here um, and put your images in these galleries, they actually are protected. You cannot download them. However, if you decide to hand build your gallery, your images can be downloaded. So let me show you what I mean here. I'm just going to go over into my images and grab this image here. Um, and so um, it, I'm just going to go on and publish this image. And down. And I'm going to go to live view and I'm going to refresh that. And you'll see if I click on this, if I right click, you will see all the normal um, prompts to download and things like that. So um, we definitely don't want that. You definitely want to protect your images. So I'm going to go back over to editor and what I'm going to do is make a note of this, the width and the height, um, 576, 384. This is going to make it a little bit easier for me down the line. So next I'm going to go over to add and I'm going to go over to shape and I am going to grab a shape. Uh, let's see your shape and I'm just going to grab something that's close. And what I want to do, the reason I, I used, the, I remembered those particular numbers is so I can just type them in real fast, 576 by, let's see here, 384. There we go. And enter. And now I'm just going to drag this box over my image. Um, I'm going to go up to design and I'm going to slide the slider down to zero. I don't need a border, so I'm going to slide that down to zero and I am just going to click out of it. Now I've actually put an invisible box over my image. So if I was to publish that and go back into live view and refresh, now you can see I can no longer download my image. Um, and so now your image is definitely protected. Now the thing about it is, and let me go back over to editor, let's just say you wanted to move it um, around. If you try to move it, you're only going to move the top one. So what I'm going to do is just offset it a little bit, and I am going to hit command or control, and I'm going to grab both images, group the elements, and move them around where I want them. Once I get it set, I'm just going to actually ungroup it, click off, click back on. It's going to give me the top one, and I am going to reset that and of course republish it and then my image is protected. So there you go, quick, easy, simple way to protect your images in WIC. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more down the line, please subscribe. Thank you for checking out the video. See you next time.